Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Oh no, it looks like Mia's tablet isn't working. Maybe the battery's dead. That's a simple fix, she just needs to recharge it. Wait, but how does plugging the tablet into the outlet in a wall make it work again? What's going on here? Well, it's all about energy. When Mia plugs her device into the wall, the electrical energy will be transferred through the wire and then to the battery of her tablet, where it'll be stored until Mia uses it again. Energy transfer? That means that energy is moved from one place to another. And you know, this process is happening all around us all the time. Oh, here's an interesting fact for you. Energy can't be made. It's just transferred from one thing to another over and over again. In fact, right inside Mia's tablet, there's another way that energy is transferred. In the battery, when chemical energy is transformed into electrical energy. And that electrical energy moves along the wires in the tablet and powers it so that you can use it. And tablets are just one example of energy transfer that we see in our world. What do you say we take a look at other ways energy is transferred? Right here in the kitchen, we can find more examples of energy being transferred. Look at this light, for example. Uh, but don't look right into the light bulb. It's plugged into the wall, which supplies energy to the cord. Now that energy is transferred through the wires in the lamp, and the electricity travels through tiny wires in the light bulb, causing it to light up. This light shining into the room is just another example of the way that energy is transferred. And light energy is pretty cool because it's a form of energy that we can see with our eyes. But there are some forms of energies we can't see with our eyes. Another example of an energy transfer is the oven. This oven takes electrical energy and transforms it into heat energy so that you can bake delicious lasagna Hey, speaking of tasty treats, who doesn't love roasting marshmallows over a campfire? Campfire? Yep, you guessed it. Another example of energy being transferred. In this case, heat energy is being transferred from the burning wood to the marshmallow, making it soft and gooey and just a little crunchy on the outside. Anybody want some s'mores? I definitely do. Energy transfer is all around us, even in nature. And in nature, energy transfer starts with the mighty sun. Each day, the sun shines down and provides the earth with energy. Plants rely on this energy to produce food. And that is a very important transfer of energy, because it provides life on earth. And we humans have also figured out a smart way to use the light from the sun to create what we call solar energy. Check it out. This little toy moves back and forth. Ah, but where does it get the energy to do that from? Well, the toy has a few solar panels on it. These solar panels are able to take energy from the sun. And as it passes through the solar panels, the light is transferred into electrical energy, which then moves the little toy back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. Now on a much larger scale, solar roof panels do the same thing. The sun shines on the solar panel, and the energy from the light of the sun is changed into electricity. The solar panels can generate enough electricity for an entire house. Pretty amazing, huh? And humans have also figured out how to use energy from other places in nature, like the wind. Look at this wind turbine, for example. The wind causes the blades of the turbine to move. And this is called motion energy, because it's made by movement or motion. That motion energy is then used to create electricity to power homes and buildings in that area. Sometimes we can even feel the energy being transferred. Take sound energy, for example. Have you ever been at a concert and the music was really loud? So loud that you could feel it in your body? That's because sound can also transfer energy. Look, this speaker gets its energy from electricity. And it uses that energy to create sound waves. In a sound wave, energy is transferred by the vibration of air particles. 
If it's loud enough, you might even feel those vibrations in your chest. The vibrations can also travel through the ground, which you can sometimes feel with your feet. Uh, your alarm clock does the same thing. It gets its energy from electricity, which is transferred into sound waves when it goes off to wake you up. And just make sure not to hit the snooze button on this awesome science. It's incredible to think of all the ways that energy is constantly being transferred. From the sun shining down on the earth, to plugging in your tablet or computer into the outlet of a wall to charge. Because we cannot make more energy, it's constantly being transferred from one thing to another. And humans have even found ways to use things like the sun and the wind to transfer their energy into electricity. Pretty cool, huh? Now real quick, take a look around. In how many different ways is energy being transferred in your room right now? Until next time, mighty scientists.